I had anticipated that the, the KTH innovation would be um, kind of a separate part of the university. I didn't realize it was quite so integrated um, with the administrative side of the university. I thought that it would be um, operating more on its own um, and it's doing a, a fa giving a fantastic service to the entire university, therefore. Um, if it were more on its own, it might not be addressing quite all the aspects of the university that it is. And, and it's, it's, um, I think it's, it's very interesting that the university is making the effort to allow the kind of information that uh, it, KTH Innovation proliferates among faculty and students and researchers and that's being made available by the university to its own um, personnel. That's a great thing because it's not, it's often hard to find uh, what you need to know about how to start a company and how to, how to build a team and how to evaluate a market and, and a lot of times that's not taught um, so readily in universities, especially research universities, but here anybody has access to it because of KTH innovation. That's a surprise. The innovation aspect of KTH is, is perhaps better known and renowned outside of Sweden than it is inside of Sweden. So um, I think we will be encouraging the efforts to, um, for KTH innovation to uh, raise its profile inside of Sweden and let uh, the entire country realize what a fantastic uh, opportunity they present for people who come to, to KTH for entering students. If they have any idea that they want to start a company or, or, or become an entrepreneur, uh, KTH is, looks to me like it's one of the leading uh, uh, universities in Sweden to do that.